When I first started art, I always wondered what tools pro artists use to draw. Well, <laughs> I'm no pro artist myself now, but I will definitely tell you the tools I use to draw my portraits. Now, to be clear, these materials are not the only ones I have. This video will take hours if that's the case. I will only show you the materials I use on a daily basis. The first material on the list is the HP pencil. As little and light as you may see this pencil, it plays a crucial role when drawing my portraits. You see these outlines for these portraits? They were created by my HB pencil. But of course, if you watch my videos, you will know that I don't use my HB pencil just for outlines. I also use my HB pencil to create light shading as the base layer. Can I live without this? No. <laughs> the price, 20 naira or 0.049 dollars next on the list is the 2b pencil so once i shade with the hb pencil the 2b pencil is the next victim i use this to make the shading darker after the hb pencil has been used can i live without this yes <laughs> i can the price for this is 300 naira or about one dollar next is my beloved 4b pencil <laughs> the mighty pencil in all its glory I basically use this for the last shading of the skin, like the shadowed areas, the more darker parts of the skin. Can I live without this? <laughs> no, I really can't. It's basically a lifesaver. The price for this is also 300 naira or about $1. Now, I also have a 6B pencil and I sometimes use this pencil in some areas when the 4B cannot get darker. The price for this is about 300 naira or $1 also. But uh, really, if I'm being serious, I rarely use this pencil. Instead of using my 6B pencil to go darker on the skin, which will just cause more graphite shine, I'll just use my charcoal pencil, 4B version. Oh my goodness, this is one pencil I cannot live without. Like, this pencil does most of the work. For example, when I want to draw areas like the eyelashes, the nostrils, the middle of the mouth, or even some dark hairs, I use my 4B charcoal pencil all the time. When I was drawing this complex hair, my 4B pencil took a serious hit. I use it a lot, and this is the reason why it is now short. The price for this is uh, 700 naira, or about $2. Next is the charcoal pencil, the 6B version. This pencil is not completely useless, rather far from it. When I go dark with the 4B charcoal pencil, sometimes it still isn't as dark as I would like it to be. This is when I use my 6B pencil to go darker. I use this 6B charcoal pencil for things like also the eyes, the hair, the nostrils. Can I live without this? Uh, hard to say, but I'll say no. The price for this is uh, 700 naira or about $2. And yes, how can I forget them charcoal sticks? These charcoal sticks come in a pack of hard, medium, and soft. And they serve a somewhat important role. Like for example, while I was drawing this Charlie's hair, I needed something darker than the 6B charcoal pencil. And uh, the charcoal stick, the medium version, was the right man for the job. If you are looking to buy this, you want to make sure that you are not stupid and utterly careless like me, who foolishly kept them where they fell and broke. They are not that expensive to replace though. The price for this is about 1,300 naira or about uh, less than $4. And now we have the king of them all, the charcoal powder. You all know how intoxicated I am with charcoal powder. I use it for shading the skin because boy, it gets so smooth. The price for this is free. <laughs> yes, if you have charcoal pencil, you can use those charcoal pencils or charcoal sticks to make charcoal powder. Click this video here to watch how I make homemade charcoal powder with only charcoal pencils. And we also have brushes. The charcoal powder will be basically useless without the brushes. I use the brushes to apply the charcoal powder on the paper. To be clear, I have different kinds of brushes. These makeup brushes I stole from my sister. And also this one I bought by myself. But the ones I mostly use are these, the round brush for general shading and the more angular brush for shading sharper angles. The price for this? Well, uh, still your sister's makeup brush. <laughs> or you could just buy cheap ones below $5 from a makeup store. If you're a guy, hopefully they don't look at you weirdly when you ask them for a makeup brush. <laughs> I also use miscellaneous materials like uh, the needed eraser. It's very foldable and malleable. It's perfect to create some fine highlights. The price for this is 500 naira or about $1.5 basically. 
I have a cheap stick eraser, also a sharpener to sharpen the pencil. It works just like every regular cheap sharpener. Oh yes, how can I forget? Papers. Now everybody asks me the kind of paper I use for drawing. I've always used this paper called Pelican Card or Glossy Paper. I think it's only available around here in Nigeria. But it was very effective, it worked nicely and life was good until all of a sudden all the shops in my area said they were out of stock. It's been weeks now and well, no pelican. I haven't found the paper anywhere. So I started to use this new paper called Stratmore paper. It's very smooth, so I don't think it's the popular Stratmore Bristol. Maybe it's more like Stratmore Vellum. I really don't know. I just walked into the store. I asked for Stratmore paper. They gave this to me and I walked on praying that they did not just sell nonsense to me. <laughs> And dare I say, this paper works wonders. Man, it's so smooth, it blends well. It's literally a miracle of a paper. The price is 4,000 Naira for one full yard, or about say $10. I'll drop the links to where you can buy most of these materials in the description. The total cost for everything turns out to be 8,200 Naira, or roughly $22. But these tools will be completely useless if you don't have any idea how to use them. This video on the screen explains how you can shade with your pencils the techniques you can use to make your art more realistic. Watch that! Yes, that! And I'll see you in the next one.